Okay, welcome back. This is about the regulation of solicitors, barristers and legal executives. Now, sometimes they all make mistakes in their job. And the point is, what are you going to do? What can you do if you are unhappy with the work of your barrister, the work of your solicitor and the work of the legal executive? It's important that you have the right to complain and that you can complain and that you know how to complain and that each of those professions is regulated. So first of all, let's talk about how barristers are regulated and what you can do. Well, always start off with an informal complaint. If you are unhappy about your barrister, maybe they're not very good at communicating with you or they've taken too long to get back to you about something um, or you feel you don't understand what's going to happen in your case or in court, you would make an informal complaint to the head of chambers. So remember, that's where barristers work. You'd ring them up, speak to the head of chambers and deal with it in a very informal way. If you are unhappy about the advocacy that your barrister gave, you could actually sue them. So the case of Hall versus Simons allows you to sue a barrister for negligent advocacy. So if they got the law completely wrong in court, then perhaps you could sue. There are going to be issues with that because we know the civil courts have um, delays and are very expensive. The next thing you could do is um, go to the Bar Standards Board, so the BSB. They set the standards and training for barristers, so you can complain to them. What can they do? Well, they can warn, they can um, fine a barrister, they can actually suspend a barrister or disbar them, which means they are no longer allowed to work as a barrister. If all those things fail and you're still not happy, you could go to the legal ombudsman. So this is a body, it's an independent body, and they deal with all sorts of complaints and other issues. They've got a website, Google legal ombudsman, and it will come up. Um, so if you are unhappy about the response, you can go to them and you can submit your claim. There are certain time limits and then they will look at it and get back to you. OK, solicitors. First of all, the Law Society represents solicitors, so they are the ones in charge of solicitors. Again, I would go with an informal complaint first. What are you unhappy about? Have you been charged too much money, do you feel, for the work that they've done? Have there been long delays? Um, so I would ring up the solicitor's firm and I would complain to the partner in the law firm. Most legal firms will have a complaints avenue. When you sign a contract with your solicitor, you should be told how to complain. So go informal first is what I would say with all of these. Um, what else can you do? Well, the Solicitor's Regulatory Authority, they handle misconduct complaints. So if you're unhappy, you can complain to them. They set out a code of conduct, conduct and you could say, well, my solicitor's not following this code of conduct. What are their powers? They can fine a solicitor, they can suspend a solicitor and they can strike them off so that they are no longer allowed to practice. I mean, I think that would have to be something quite serious like financial misconduct. What else can you do? Well, you can sue for negligence. Um, case versus White, uh, Kate, case, can't speak, case White versus Jones is where a solicitor didn't make a will in time before the person died and the family successfully sued for negligence. And after all that, if you're still not happy, again, you can go to the legal ombudsman. So we said that they are an independent body who will look at your complaint and deal with it appropriately. They would then go back to the solicitor and say, look, you have overcharged this person. Please refund them X amount of money. How do you complain about legal executives? Well, first of all, legal executives have to be members of Silex. So C-I-L-E-X, Certified Institute of legal executives. Now they aim to promote standards, like good standards, high standards, professional standards, and provide education and training to the legal executives. Um, they, they have a regulatory board, so the Silex Regulatory Board. They are independent, so you could complain to them. Maybe you're unhappy about the quality of the work, maybe there were mistakes in the will, maybe you were charged too much money. So you would complain to the Silex Regulatory Board, and they can reject your complaint, so disagree with you. They could warn a member, they could fine a member, they could exclude a member, and then they wouldn't go to practice as a legal executive. Uh, they could send the person to a disciplinary tribunal. So all sorts of powers um, that they, they have. And again, 
And it's the same for all three. If you're still unhappy, you would complain to the legal ombudsman and submit your complaint online. So do a little bit of research, have a look at all those bodies um, that I've mentioned and see whether you can find out any more information to add to an eight mark question.